Hey all, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can present and record on Canva, all for free, no external or third party tools required. So just like what you're looking at right now, where I'm recording right now on my webcam, and at the same time, I'm presenting what's on screen. So whether you're an educator, teacher, student, coach, or content creator who wants to present something that you created, on Canva, then this present and record feature available on Canva will be handy for that. There are only two caveats and notes that I wanna mention before I continue on with this tutorial. Number one is you do need a webcam at the time of this recording. The present and record feature is only uh, in beta form. So hopefully once they do develop a little more then you won't need a webcam and you can just record your presentations without you having to be in it. But if you like to have that little bubble effect, kind of like how I do it with all my video tutorials, then that's the feature that is available using the present and record feature on Canva. And note number two is that the present and record feature only works inside of Canva. So you can't actually use this feature or tool to present and record other screens, browsers, or tools that you may have in your computer. With that said, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need, obviously, is the presentation that you want to present and record. I've got this demonstration right here called Social Media Marketing Trends. And you can see there are a few slides at the bottom right here that I wanna go through in this uh, demo or more so this tutorial or presentation. If you haven't created your presentation, all you need to do is to create a design and then simply search for presentation and then that presentation format will appear as 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now the present and record feature isn't limited to just presentations or slides that you create. It can be for any Canva design that you've created inside of Canva. Now, once you're done with your presentation, all you need to do is hit that three dotted button right here and then click on present and record. So there is another option for present only. So don't get confused. There's actually an option for present and record. But before you do so, make sure you plug in your webcam or the uh, camera, whatever it is that you wanna use to obviously have you on the screen or presentation too. So I'll click on present, present and record. I'll now click on go to recording studio and you may be prompted by your browser to access your webcam and just allow it. And then that'll then show up in one of these options. So the first option is the camera, of course, and you wanna choose your webcam here and then your microphone. So I'll just choose my Logitech C922 right here, which is the webcam that I use. Once you're all set with those settings, click on start recording and then that'll start the three second timer. So that indicating when the actual recording starts. So let's hit start recording. Three, two and one. Now it is recording. So this is social media marketing trends. We can move on to the next slide, just as an example, just to show you a few different screens and slides. And uh, we are going to end the recording. Uh, be but before I do that, let's hit the pause button because that is a handy feature if you do want to pause your recording for whatever reason. Since this isn't a live recording or stream, that's a great thing about it. So if you do have a course that you wanna create different components and modules involved in that video course perhaps, then you can pause it anytime you want and then resume it when you do wish to do so. So let's click on resume. And now as you can see, I can see the time of the recording. So we've got 25, 26 uh, seconds of recording. And now I'll just end the recording right here. Now it is uploading the recording to Canva's server. Once it's recorded, you're given this unique link, which you can then share with your students or any other uh, people or staff that you may wanna share it with. On the other hand, if you're using Canva's present and record feature to create your video course, then you can click on download and then upload it to whatever hosting server like YouTube, Vimeo, or even through your web hosting company. In addition, when you download the video file, you get the MP4 file, so then you can edit it in a separate editing tool. On the subject of editing, you can use Canva's editing tool to edit any parts that you wanna take out or crop out 
of your video. So I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download a copy of the video. Canva doesn't offer a full-fledged video editing tool, but there is a way around it and kind of a hack around editing and cutting out bits that you may have stuffed up or you want to take out. Now that the video is downloaded to my computer, what I'm going to do now is go to my Canva homepage and I'm going to click on create a design. Next up, click on custom size and the presentation size was 1920 by 1080 pixels. So I want to keep that consistent since the downloaded video is in that size too. Next, what will happen is this blank canvas will open and what we're going to do is go to uploads. I've got the downloaded video ready here. You can see it's the MP4 file and I'm just going to drag it into the uploads box right here. Now that it's uploaded, you will find it under videos and if I click once, that'll insert it to the canvas and play it right away. I'll just stop it for now. What I'll do first is rearrange it so that it fits the whole canvas right here. So I'll just drag from the corners. And by the way, if you don't need to cut anything of your video, then you're pretty much set. You've already downloaded the video or you can share that direct link, that unique link that Canva provided. And that's all you really need. So let's say you have an online course that has 10 of these presentations, then you'll have 10 of those unique links, which you can then provide to your students or customers. But let's now get to the editing part and cut bits that we may not want. The first type of video cut that you can do is simply from a certain point to another point. So that's the most basic editing that you can do with Canva. So if I just click on the video, you'll see this scissors option. Click that once and then you can actually drag the start. So let's say you have a beginning that isn't uh, going to be necessary in the final product or the final video. All you can do is just skip to the point where you want it. So let's say you want to start from four seconds rather than start, then you can do so. Now, if you also want to cut the end, then you can also do that. So let's say from 30 seconds right there. So now it'll only start or crop it to from this point to the end. So like this. And once you're done with that, just click on done. And now as you can see, it's starting from uh, this point right here. Now, what if you have something in the middle or another part of the video or presentation that you simply just wanna cut off without having a start or end? Well, here's how to go about doing it. Simply click on duplicate page. That'll make a copy, right? So what we're actually doing is kind of hacking in a way so that uh, we are only including what we need. So let's say you stuffed up a certain word or whatever, slide that you may have uh, not presented well. Uh, you can just click that first page once and then we're gonna click that scissors icon again. And then we are going to find that point where you stuffed up. So I'm just hypothetically saying that, let's say we are stuffed, we stuffed up right here at uh, let's say seven seconds of this video. Let's make sure that the start is from zero seconds and the actual stuff up was at seven seconds. So I'll go to seven seconds. Then I would click on done. So now the first page or first part of the video is only the first sec seven uh, seconds of it. Now go down to the duplicate we made, just take note that was the original that we simply duplicated. And what we're going to do now is go to the edit or the cut option. And then take note again that the, what we, uh, took out from the first one was the first seven seconds. So hypothetically, let's say we stuffed up from uh, seven seconds uh, to a certain point to nine seconds. So we really only need from nine seconds. So I'll skip, you can see here to nine seconds. So in between seven and nine seconds, that's the part we stuffed up hypothetically, right? And that's all we need. And we can leave the end as is right here. Click on done. Now that we've cut the two, what you can do is to preview it. So you can click the play button. And then as noted, uh, basically the stuff up was from seven to nine seconds. So, you know, you can't see it, but that's where it basically skipped from seven to nine seconds. So using this approach isn't the best way, but it is a way around it if you do really desperately need to cut a certain bit out of your presentation. Now with the edited video presentation done, you can download everything in one single video file by clicking download, choose MP4 video, 
then select the pages. We want all the pages, click on done, then click on download. And here's the finished copy. So I've got the edited version. I've just renamed it and I can now play it wherever I want. I can also upload it to whatever server I want. And that's how to use Canvas present and record feature. Again, it is in beta form. So at the moment, there are limitations in terms of what you can do and you do need a webcam. You can't really move that little bubble effect with your talking head on it, but hopefully in future updates, you're able to have more flexibility and customization options when it comes to presenting and recording using Canva. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notifications too. So you don't miss out on future tutorials just like this. In the meantime, do watch these next relevant videos.